create more funds to obtain essential documents, such as their national IDs, passports, birth certificates and death certificates. In a Gazette notice dated November 6th, 2023, and signed by Interior Cabinet Secretary Professor Kithure Kindiki, Kenyans will have to pay 1,000 shillings to obtain a, an identity card with those seeking to apply for passports required to part with 7,500 Kenyan shillings, up from 4,500 Kenyan shillings. In the revised charges and levies, charges for birth certificate certification will increase from 50 Kenya shillings to 200 Kenya shillings. The fee charged on late registration of birth and death certificates has risen from the current 150 Kenya shillings to 500 Kenya shillings. Additionally, Kenyans will pay 1,000 Kenya shillings for re-registration of birth certificate, a significant increase from the previous 90 shillings. Those who require some changes made on their birth and death certificates will be forced to pay 1,000 Kenya shillings from the current 130 Kenya shillings. Kenyans who have attained the age of 18 will now be required to pay 1,000 Kenya shillings to obtain their national identity card, which was previously issued for free. Those seeking to replace their IDs will be required to pay a fee of 2,000 Kenya shillings from the current 100 Kenya shillings. Civil servants' card will now cost 1,000 Kenya shillings, up from 100 Kenya shillings. The government has equally revised passport fees upwards across all all categories. Applicants for 50-page diplomatic passports will be charged 15,000 Kenya shillings up from 7,500 Kenya shillings. The ordinary 34-page passports will now cost 7,500 Kenya shillings from the current 4,500 Kenya shillings, while ordinary 50-page passports will now be priced at 9,500 Kenya shillings, an increase from the current 6,000 Kenya shillings. Those applying for the 66-page passport will pay a whopping 12,500 Kenya shillings, a significant rise from 7,500 Kenya shillings. Elizabeth Atieno, TV 47. Well, let's talk politics and as me on